Make sure you stay until the end. We will explain common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays, guys, and how that can cost you quite a bit of money that you don't need to spend. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Malibu. We're talking about that generation specifically from year 2016 to year 2023. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the fuse for the transmission auxiliary pump is located, which fuse you need to check. Uh, it could be multiple ones, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. Why it's important to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys if you have a chevy malibu we are talking about that generation here from 2006 to all the way 2023 guys if you have one of those we'll be making a video about every fuse every relay in that car why we do that guys to save you time and money let's say you're down the road you're in the middle of nowhere your car does not start you're trying to find where the engine starter fuse or fuel pump fuse is located all you have to do come to the channel search less than one two minutes you fix that problem you're back on the road because sometimes in the menus it, it will not be cleared it will not be mentioned guys if you need to buy guys okay any parts tools fuses anything for your chevy money boy a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money we will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out now here in the garage guys we constantly work on things constantly working on new vehicles guys we do engine work mechanical work transmission work body work anything you can think of so we're constantly adding new vehicles so if you need help with anything just leave a comment below so let's go ahead and start on it now so now let's talk about that okay where you can find the transmission auxiliary pump fuse we will demonstrate on this 2017 model chevy malibu you guys have up to two different fuse boxes in this car today we'll just need one of them that fuse box is right under the hood pop your hood open on your chevy malibu and you will face the engine guys on the right side right here you have one fuse box under that cover you will need to open the cover and you will see a fuse box layout that will look like this one. This is the same one but just different angle. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen, guys, at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well, guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So here what we need to check, we're going to come to this angle here, we're going to zoom in so we can clearly see all the fuses and let's now explain which two fuses we'll need to check for the transmission auxiliary pump. You may or may not have these ones depending on which engine model and transmission you have. The first one is known as fuse number 57, if you have it, it will be right here. Another one that you may need to check guys, it's known as fuse number uh, 90 two guys okay 92 if you see that uh, right here that row okay fuse number 92 will be that one right here so most of you guys okay uh, will have either one of these or both of them if you have auxiliary transmission auxiliary pump if you don't you won't have those fuses hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time 